In today's video, we're showing you how to attach your mouth guard to your football helmet. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football here. Today, I've got a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. It's been on a list uh, that I've had of just uh, video topics and so forth. But today I wanted to show you how uh, to properly put your mouth guard onto your helmet by attaching it via a tether or some kind of strap that's included with your mouth guard. We're going to talk about everything from the low end, you know, cheap mouth guard that everybody gets at the beginning of the season down to your more expensive uh, mouth guards. And so um, for... For people that have been playing and for players that have been playing the game for a long time, this video is not going to be for you. This is going to be for people that are just getting introduced to the game of football. So maybe you stay tuned and you know you enjoy the video just because it's Mr. Football video today for the upload today, um, or you know this is just going to be one of those things where we're trying to hit a very specific audience. So I apologize if this is not um, this this is a little too simple for some of you. But anyway, I digress. Um, what I wanted to talk about today is just simply how we do that. Um, because a lot of us, you know, we spend the money to get a nice mouth guard and we want that mouth guard to keep us protected. We want that mouth guard to be available at all times. So, you know, what happens if you were to lose your 15 to $20 mouth guard, uh, that you spent money on? Um, you know, we don't want to lose those things. And so... The cheapest mouth guard, mouth guard alternative uh, is simply one of the, and, and these don't cost a lot. These are literally probably five cents. Uh, at, as coaches, we buy them in bulk, um, and we're able to give it at least one out uh, to every player. We've got plenty of replacements and so forth, but one thing that's uh, infuriating as a coach, and it's not really infuriating, but players lose their mouth guards all the time, and the simplest solution is just attaching it the right way. And, <clears throat> and what I'll say is, is there's probably, uh, there's probably nobody that's actually shown a player how to actually put this on uh, the correct way. So maybe that's me. Maybe that it needs to be my duty to get it done, but we're gonna talk about the debt at least today and talk about each way. Uh, and just show you a couple different popular mouth guard brands, especially if you buy your own, or if you use just a simple uh, what's referred to as a boil and bite mouth guard. We'll talk about it from that standpoint as well. Okay, so we're just going to take a look at each helmet here. Uh, both both helmets are, uh, you know, they're they're different brands, but really the overall concept's going to it's not going to matter for whatever reason, uh, whatever helmet you have. We're attaching the mouth guard strap to the very bottom of the face mask bar. So that very last bar um, is where we're going to be attaching it. Be on that one, and then. Uh, this one as well. We're going to be attaching it right up here. So the way that we want to get started, I'm just going to start with the simple boil and bite mouth guard and then just kind of go from there. Um, I got this helmet out because uh, we're going to be doing a video on it here soon. So um, this is the, this is just an Adams mouth guard. Uh, every, every company makes their own, uh, you know, kind of boil and bite mouth guard. Okay. And so on our mouth guard here, what we'll have is you have the mouth guard piece, obviously the uh, part that's gonna help you uh, boil your mouth guard. You wanna keep this attached to it, so when you go to boil and fit your mouth guard, so we don't wanna cut this off. I understand if you don't want this. I understand why people don't want this, okay? Especially with quarterbacks, players need to communicate. I understand that. Um, but we definitely wanna leave this on here until we're ready to uh, boil our mouth guard. So we're gonna use this helmet first. All right, so we're gonna put this mouth guard the boil and bite mouth guard on the face mask here and so obviously when the uh, mouth guard is we just obviously want we don't want to put it on backwards so just make sure you know well that's how it's going to sit in the player um, and so what we'll do is there's this little opening here that the mouth guard is going to be fed through we'll go ahead and attach it and all we're going to do is just pull the mouth guard through the hole and by doing this you can just kind of pull it uh, here, and then that's not coming off, okay? So I'll do it one more time. Okay, last time, 
Okay, so we're gonna have it like this, and we're just gonna bring the mouth guard through, open up the hole on the strap, push the mouth guard through, and then just pull it tight. And there you go. Now, obviously, this this face mask doesn't really let you uh, you know store it like a two bar face mask would, but you know it goes from you know each face mask being just a little bit different. Okay, that one's simple. Remember, we're gonna put it on that bottom bar. Uh, so here is a battle mouth guard. Uh, now this battle mouth guard is a few years old, but you know, for the most part, um, I don't think theirs are really changing that much. Uh, so with this one, it's a little bit different with the battle mouth guard. Okay. Um, there's this little tab right here that's got the battle logo. And so I'm going to actually put it through this first loop or this first hole. And as I go, I'm just going to twist it and it'll create just a nice little even uh, circular hole there for the for it to go onto the face mask. This one's you know fairly easy. And the great thing about the Battle Shock Doctor lip protector style is it's not gonna matter if it's upside down. You don't even have to boil these, so that is an advantage uh, in some regards. So the only thing is like people may want, like when you look at it, like obviously like this, if you're wearing it, it would say Battle. But obviously if you turn it, you know, it's not gonna matter because the battle one can actually turn a little bit. So, um, but what's nice too is like it can easily you know pop off too. So you know whether that's good for. Um, I've even seen it where you know players lose their helmet in a game, but this strap tears away and you're and you still have the mouth guard in. So there are some advantages to that part of the system. Um, you know, and having it like that, it's almost kind of like a fail safe. So like, even if your helmet was to be removed from play, your teeth are still protected. Obviously that's why, you know, we put so much money and, you know, insurance behind these mouth guard products that are gonna protect our teeth. Because um, obviously dentistry is expensive. Here's just a shock doctor mouth guard, a little bit different setup with this. It's got uh, a little, I, I would call it a little T-bar, but all it's gonna do is just uh, go in this little loop that's kind of created and it's just you can tighten it to however you know if you want it to be on the lowest setting you could do that or for it to have a little bit more freedom so uh, pretty simple here all we're doing is just moving it on and it's there One more time so we just want to find that bottom part of the face mask we want to turn the t-bar in and then we push it through and it'll actually lock in place. This one's kind of the same deal. You know, it's a fail safe. If this was to somehow fail on you, helmet was to pop off, like, I mean, that mouth guard could still stay in, I guess, unless, you know, that gets jarred loose as well, but, you know, that one's simple as well. Okay, um, on the Shock Doctor mouth guards, here's a, here's a common one we see, um, but they'll have like an actual little place here where you'll put the, tether through and so basically how this one works uh, is you just feed the it'll go just in like that feed it through and then push down on the lip protector and you kind of look at it from the other side as well I'll show you from that angle and then all I'm doing is just pushing it through like that it didn't go kind of helps if you just move the rubber end of the mouth guard around it as you feed it through and just kind of press down and it'll be there there you go so i hope this video was helpful i know it was very um very simple but hopefully this showed someone how to uh, properly put on a mouth guard onto a helmet i know it's kind of a weird topic for me to do uh, just because we talk about so many wide ranging topics in football but hopefully this helped you uh, please let me know if it uh, helped if you guys have any other how-to videos, you guys are kind of into my how-to videos here lately, so uh, those are really helping here as football season gets going. I uh, just want to take the time here to tell you guys about all the platforms we are on on social media. Uh, you can find us on Twitter. On Twitter, you can find me at Mr. Football Coach, and that's M-R-F-B Coach. Uh, you want to follow that because we do our weekly uh, live streams where we give away football products. And... Uh, a lot of the times we're picking our giveaway winners from Twitter. So make sure you're on Twitter. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. We have new videos coming out every Tuesday and Thursdays. And then we're live streaming on Saturday or Sunday, depending on 
uh, whether I'm busy or not or have some other prior plans. And then also check us out on Instagram for updates in the story. If you want to buy any of my equipment that I have, you can check out my uh, sideline swap page. I'm running deals right now on my sideline swap, so all kinds of good football gear to get you started uh, going into the 2020 season. We will see you guys next time. I'm Mr. Football, and I'm out of here. Perfect. Am I really gonna have to resort to scissors for this?